lot of ground tonight. Sherry, they did. No fireworks here tonight among the five candidates vying for the Democratic nomination, mostly agreeable on the big issues as they hope voters will choose them this coming Tuesday. Five Democrats wanting the same job, agreeing on numerous talking points that Alabama needs new progressive leadership and free from corruption. Alabama's in crisis, and this election is not about the past, it's about the future. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says he would find common ground with the Republican legislature if elected. Bipartisan effort. I have a 12 and a half year history of creating common ground. That formula doesn't change when you get to Montgomery. It's about results and not rhetoric. Just behind Maddox in recent polling, Alabama as first female Chief Justice Sue Bell Cobb says she'll govern for the people, not the next election. If we have a governor that stays focused, less focused on divisive issues and more focused on jobs and clean water, quality of life, education, health care, we're going to have an Alabama of which we can be proud. A self described yellow dog Democrat, James Fields, wants change in Montgomery that involves new blood. We can change it because we've been in there, we know what's there. You bring in new people. People who have been doing those jobs. You don't bring somebody in because they're a friend or they contribute heavy to your campaign. You bring in people that understand and believe in people. Five candidates all alike in party wanting the Democratic nomination for governor on Tuesday. And this was night two of debating here at UA's Morgan Hall, moderated by our own colleague Art Franklin. Tonight, the Democrats sharing the stage as we're joined by CBS 42 political analyst Steve Flowers. You'll forgive the height difference here as we talk politics with our friend. Steve, a lot of issues crossed the stage tonight for these Democratic candidates. You've said that you think it's Walt Maddox's race to lose. What were the big issues that were discussed here tonight? Medicaid expansion among, among them. It was a very amicable debate. Uh, no fireworks, as you mentioned. No surprises. And they were all on the same chorus and same page with the issues. Although I would say this, it was a, it was a calm and deliberate debate with a lot of uh, substance. Uh, it, was, it was calm, but it was very, very substantive. And they all had concrete issues, and Maddox and, and Sue Bill Cobb, the front runners in this race, were well prepared and well versed. It seemed they were ready to talk about the fact that if any of them are elected, they'll have a Republican legislature to deal with and convince on some things. They all seem prepared for that possibility. What do you think the chances are of us seeing a Democratic governor? Well, if they are elected, that will be a significant problem, and they will have a difficult time working with the Republican legislature if indeed a Democrat is elected. And uh, I think they handled it well. I think uh, they, they also answered the interesting question of uh, infrastructure. I thought that did not come up in the Republican debate. It did come up today, tonight, and uh, I think that, that Sue Bell and Walt Maddox have a plan, and they both are embracing uh, that there's got to be something done with our infrastructure in Alabama. Lots to talk about on both party lines. Steve Flowers, thank you for that analysis tonight. As these debates are available online, you can go to our CBS 42 Facebook page to watch them back and decide who you'll vote for on Tuesday when we'll have full election coverage for you. But for now, reporting live in Tuscaloosa, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.